Hello. Hey there, kids. Uh, I'm about to give a really great, um, I think people could call it a life hack, but you, can, you don't have to call it a life hack. It's also like a thing, a thing that a person can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some sugar beer. So I have an empty bottle of Miller Genuine Draft with 40 ounces. It's empty now. So what I'm going to have to do to make some sugar beer is I've got a paper funnel here, and it's kind of like making bread, except for instead of flour, I'm going to use sugar. So I have a paper funnel I got from the gas station. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to add yeast, sugar, and then water, and then a little bit of salt because it makes uh, all the reactions happen faster. Okay, so we've got the sugar, and what I like to do is add about 15% sugar as far as what the volume of this uh, container is. And I would also recommend using a glass bottle because, like, let's have some class here, people. Also, if I use a glass bottle, instead of plastic, then the alcohol is not going to leach into the plastic bottle. The plastic is not going to leach into the alcohol or the beverage that I'm concocting. And it doesn't really take a lot of yeast, really, because the thing is, as soon as the water, the sugar, and the yeast get together, the yeast will start to multiply. Uh, a fair or healthy portion of yeast will make it all start happening faster, but what it's also going to do is make there be a ton of yeast in there. Not a ton, but a lot. I did a little more than I would have liked, but... Basically, now we have this. You can kind of see the yeast on top of the sugar there. So, Now I've got a little bit of uh, real salt. Any kind of salt works. I like sea salt and this stuff, Redmond real salt. Non-spawn. <clears throat> or no spawn, whatever. <laughs> They're not sponsoring this stream, but they kind of are because I love that stuff. So, we have water, water, 
that's all that's left. Let's go. Refrigerator has a filter on it, so I'm using that. And one thing I just remembered while I was putting the water in is it's important to leave some air at the top. <clears throat> I'd say if someone was using like a wine bottle or a liquor bottle, like wherever the neck of the bottle starts, basically stop there. Here, this is basic basically like the minimum amount of room. It could use a little more. But the thing is, um, the more water I put in, the more alcohol eventually is going to be there, as long as I have enough sugar, because um, I think about 15% or something like that is the most that 15% alcohol for the whole mix is the most that the yeast can really handle before the alcohol actually starts to kill the yeast. Like, the yeast produces the alcohol, they feed on the sugar, and the alcohol is a byproduct that they produce. But at some point, <clears throat> like, the yeast eat all the sugar, and then they start to die. Like, both because the alcohol kills them and because there's no like fuel or food left for them. So I've got this 40 ounce bottle, it's filled like probably 35 ounces full. I'm going to put the lid on it. Um, and it's, it's also important to not put the lid on all the way tightly leave a little bit of air, like to leave it a little bit loose, so that the air can go out because the, the yeast also produ produce CO2, which is why beer has carbonation. And yeah, I'm going to let this sit in a cool, uh, dark place for, um, three to five days, maybe six days, and then it'll be ready to drink. This is sugar, sugar beer. It's how to make sugar beer. Have fun with it, kids. Peace.